Hello everybody, welcome to Andrew's Arts and Models. This is uh, the first episode of the uh, build review of the Zvezda Star Destroyer. So this is uh, part one. I'll be doing a few parts and showing my progress as I go so you can see how I do everything and how everything's laid out. Um, so far, it's been a lot of fun. It's uh, a good kit, goes together quite well. Uh, it does have its inaccuracies. Like it's not... Um, I wouldn't call you know all the details sort of studio model accurate, but it's uh, it it looks good. It looks really nice. So uh, those things aside, I think it's a, it's a lovely kit, and it certainly looks like a star destroyer. I'm just going to show you what I've done. So most of this is still unassembled. So I've uh, left sections off so I can work with them a bit more easily. And I just thought I'd put it all together so you can see what I've done so far. Alright, I'll just take these bits and pieces off. And there you go. Alright. So pretty simple. Let's move my camera stand around a bit. So pretty simple. I've done the uh, the main areas. So the main, main assembly is pretty much complete. And I've got it to a stage where once I've done what I need to do next, I can just glue it all together and then it'll be f that, that part will be finished. Um, all the detail on the superstructure and around the trenches and everything on the model is all done. Uh, that was very easy to do. It's quite simple to do. One little thing I found is right in the center of the screen at the moment. This is really the only fit issue I had on the whole kit and it's on either side of the superstructure. Uh, the parts are just a tiny bit short by the looks of it, but uh, other than that, it's okay. I'll probably be able to putty that up and um, you won't notice it. But uh, yeah, other than that, most of it went together very, very easily. Um, it pretty much just clicks into place and uh, there's, there's not much, not much uh, mucking around. I've left the guns off at the moment. Um, firstly, because I'm going to drill all the holes for the lighting at uh, the next stage and they'll get in the way. But secondly, because I'm going to spray in there before I attach them and just to um, make sure it's all nice and painted in there before we go. And we'll just show you the bottom section. So as I was saying, most of the assembly is done for now, and we're just going to work on um, the next step, which will be putting in the LEDs and um, doing the painting and everything. So just have a look at the detail on the side there. I quite like it all together. I can't help but feel that this is probably just a tiny bit short um, in terms of, you know, not high enough, but it, it looks quite good. And it could just be because I've been staring at the AMT kit, which is far too high. Um, for too long, but yeah, no, it's it it still looks still looks quite nice. I've left this little dome section out for the moment because I'm I'm going to plan to drill a hole through it, and that's where my stand will come up to support the model, and then I'll have my wiring run down into the base uh, through a tube to the battery pack and uh, set it up like that. So I've left that out for the moment just so I can drill the hole through it a bit easier. And uh, as you can see on the underside here. There's that little hole in the plastic there. Now, I don't know what that's from. That's from where I joined the front. Now, that could be um, from the glue. It could be just the, the mold itself. It's hard to hard to tell but just by looking at it, but a little bit of putty in there and it'll be fine. The top section went together really well. Just press them together, just press these parts together as they're drying, just to make sure you get a nice firm join there, otherwise you'll end up with a, a reasonable gap. Um, but yeah, so lighting. Lighting gets done after I do all the painting. So I'm gonna paint the inside um, black. So I'll coat it in black and then I'll coat it in white on the inside, just to reflect the light around a bit. And I'm gonna be putting LED strips uh, right through the interior of the model. So they're going right along the edges, facing outwards and uh, drill all the holes through the, the side there and uh, put in some portholes essentially by doing that and I'll explain that. This product here, not associated with me in any way shape or form, is, is Formula 560 Canopy Glue. Now there's some videos on YouTube that I watched some time ago and I believe it was a, a Star Trek model at Enterprise D if memory serves and uh, basically what they did, instead of running all the fiber optics everywhere, they drilled the holes in the, the model 
and uh, ran a bead of the Formula 560 in behind it, just tidied up any excess, just wipes off. And uh, once it dried, it actually filled the holes and it sets clear. So hopefully when I do that, you can, you'll can you see all the portholes uh, shining nice and bright in there. But I'm not going to have to go around and try and trim all little bits of fiber optic in the little gaps and all the little recessed places because it's just not going to be possible for me. I, I'm sure there are people out there that can do it. But um, I think it'll look pretty awful um, if I attempt it. There'll be little bits of LED sticking, uh, little, little bits of fiber optic sticking out and that I can't trim properly. So I thought that we might give this a shot and see how it goes. Uh, as I say, it seemed to work quite well on the Star Trek ones. We'll see if we can get it to work on this. Um, I will be doing some fiber optics to areas like this here, just to make them brighter than the main areas and um, make them stand out. As you see on the models, there's a, uh, there's a few um, sections along the side that are bright uh, and uh, I will be doing that. The hangar bay, um, I'm going to be lighting the hangar bay as well. Now, this is where, I, as you've watched in the review video, this is where I get a bit annoyed because I really wanted this section separate just because they're easy to work with, but moulded in like that, it's pretty hard to work with. So those areas there, if you look on a lot of the kits online and a few reference photos and things, they tend to be backlit, so there's a light that sort of comes out from behind them. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to get my little Dremel out and then just burr away all those bits there, get rid of them, those, those little loopy bits on either side. And then on this side, I will insert some plastic card along where, that, where the shape is now just to reproduce it. But what it'll do is it'll reproduce the hollow behind it. And um, so hopefully I'll be able to do it without having to put the plastic card in. Um, but if I do mess it up, then I can always put the plastic card in and then the light will come out from behind those areas and it'll just light up this area beautifully. I was tempted to take out one of these little areas here and put in a little secondary hanger or whatnot, but it's just too hard to get into. So I'll probably give that a miss. Forward hanger bay, I will um, drill out a couple of holes in there, put in some fiber optic just to light it up, make it look all nice, uh, but pretty simple will be the go. So sort of one LED to run the fiber optics that I need and um, a fair bit of lighting strip to write, light up all the trenches and everything like that, get them all looking bright. And uh, there we go. I'll be using uh, LEDs in the back as well for the engines. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we'll just cover that now. So we've got a few things to cover with this section here. Alrighty, so I'm thinking I will do just the main engines, so one, two, and three. And uh, I've left that section out in the moment just to make it easier to spray in there so I don't get a build up of paint and things like that in areas where I don't want it. Um, these are fixed, but uh, you do have the option with the center one, so I've taken it and uh, we'll spray those parts separately and then put them in when it's uh, completed. Now, one thing I missed in the review, um, so I had a good look at the kit and I didn't see it when I did the kit review and I'm a bit annoyed that I didn't see it because it stands out quite well on this. If you have a look, I'll just turn around so the light gets in there. If you have a look right in the center of the screen at the moment, what can you see? Lucasfilm Limited. Uh, that really bugs me when manufacturers put the stamps like that on the outside. They don't need to be on the outside. Put it on the inside of the kit where it's not going to bother anybody. Um, it's pretty hard to remove in there. It's just a deep area and it's shallow, so I don't know how I'll go about removing it. Hopefully I won't have to. When I've mounted the main engine in there, it'll probably hide it uh, fairly well. So I don't think I'll need to worry about it, but it's just frustrating. Um, yeah, that's something that that most manufacturers have stopped doing for some time. Um, and it would have been nice to, to not see it at all on the exterior of the kit. Um, all the parts for the superstructure went together really well. I'll be drilling this out and then I'll form some sort of mount to have the LED strips in behind here as well and here, uh, all the front. And then I'll do a similar thing with the bridge when we get to that. Um, one last note on construction. So as I say, I've sort of done it in sub assemblies so I can paint it the trickier areas with the airbrush and then um, 
glue it together. So we've got this little section on top of the bridge here. So I've kept that separate. And I've done the same with the shield generators. I've kept these separate as well. All right, so I'll paint it all in there, paint all in here, and then put it in and uh, get it sitting right. When you're assembling these pieces, just be really careful. Um, I'll just zoom in on it, sorry. And focus, thank you. All right, so those little um, legs, they actually look quite strong, but they're fairly fragile. So just be really careful when you're cutting them off and when you're sticking them together that um, you don't break them. So I bent a few of mine and uh, easily fixed them. You might notice it, but uh, so just be careful because it could be a, a bit of a mess when things are said and done. So basically next step now is drill all the holes. I'll drill all the holes in the uh, sections here and here and then all the trench details, so I'll get all that all done and uh, hopefully I'll, I won't break too many drill bits because I've got uh, two there that are the right size, so hopefully I'll um, manage with those and uh, once all the drilling's done and it's all tidied up then I'll paint the inside, now I'm going to paint the inside black I'll paint it black um, just to stop it. I mean, the plastic's pretty thick as it is, so it should um, cut down on light leakage a fair bit, but I'm going to have semi LEDs in there. I thought it's a good idea to paint it black. I'll probably do two or three coats of black and then do a couple of coats of white um, on top of that just so it reflects the light around in there a bit better. I'll just seal it all down, bit it all down. And um, I've seen that method used before, and I've actually used it before on a Cylon Raider, and it worked really well. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Once it's uh, painted, all the LEDs, are, uh, we'll do all the LEDs, do what fiber optics need to be done. There won't be many of them. As I say, I'm pretty much just going to run a couple to the outside areas just to, to brighten those up. Um, then I can close it all up and just do the bridge. So I'll have a couple of wires coming up to the bridge and uh, a LED strip in there again, just lighting the, the front portholes on the bridge and a few little bits and pieces and uh, it should look beautiful. So, so far, it has actually been a lot of fun to build. Uh, really enjoyed it. Looking forward to the next steps. And, um, yeah, we'll keep you updated. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, or if there's anything else you'd like to see, or if you have any questions, just, you know, by all means, shoot me a message, let me know. Happy to help uh, you in any way I can. Uh, if you liked it, please press like, uh, subscribe, we've still got our uh, competition, so our uh, subscriber giveaway is going, so check out that video on my page as well, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for part two, hopefully very, very soon, thank you for watching.